This chapter leads off with a series of key principles respected in the word leadership. But this key idea about love ends up in the title for only one reason. Organizations, no matter how technical, no matter how mechanical, no matter how structured, are comprised of people working together to accomplish a mission or a goal. Take the people away and there is no organization. There are ideas, theories, even dreams. But without people, there is nothing but infrastructure, not organization. Since people make up the essence of organizations, people working in some type of structure are the essence of how goals are achieved. Science, technology, processes, real estate, machines, natural resources, all are brought together by the humans who band together to accomplish a task, series of tasks, and ultimately a goal. The economists define the factors of production as land, labor, capital, and entrepreneurship. For our purposes, these factors are all combined into an organization that uses those factors to create results, and for the economists, goods and services that will have value in a market system. Since people are why these resources are brought together, and since people are the glue and the brain of this organizational entity, we are driven to focus on those and how those people function, how they work together, and how their pooling of efforts creates value to the society. It is this pooling together, this set of human interactions, that makes it possible for organizations to achieve goals. This is not a philosophical treatise. It is a reality. Without people, there would be no goals. Without people, there would be no achievement of the goals. With that, the role of the leader becomes much clearer. The leader is the one who assembles the people and the various other factors of production to achieve the goals, or in our society, to create goods and services.